Professor Who, is it true oh. that such a big elephant is actually scared of tiny little mice? <laughs> Do you want to know if this is true? Let knowledge click. There's an old myth that a mouse once appeared and scared a whole herd of elephants, making them go crazy with fear. People thought elephants were afraid of mice because they might crawl into their trunks and suffocate them. But scientists say that mice can't actually crawl all the way into an elephant's trunk. And even if they could, elephants could easily blow them right back out. Later, circus trainers tested by bringing mice close to elephants. The result showed elephants didn't really care when they saw the rodents. One elephant behavior researcher pointed out that elephants have poor eyesight. When a small animal suddenly runs past their feet, they can't tell right away if it's dangerous. That's why they get startled, just as a natural reflex. So it's not just mice. Any small animal running by suddenly could make an elephant jump in surprise. Oh, so it's just because they get startled, not because they're really afraid of mice, right? Yes! Elephants are really smart. They know very well that mice aren't dangerous <laughs> at all. That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. <laughs> Woofoo! Stop! That thing you almost touch is a jellyfish. Oh, jelly? Sounds yummy! <laughs> Not your favorite dessert. Oh. I'll tell you about it. Let knowledge click. Oh. Jellyfish don't have a brain, a heart, or even bones. Their bodies are super soft because they're made of 95% water and a jelly-like stuff called mesoglia to survive. <laughs> Jellyfish have long tentacles, kind of like an octopus. On those tentacles are tiny stinging cells, each holding a springy little needles with poison. When touched, the cell opens its lid and the tiny thread is shot out piercing the opponent's skin to deliver venom. Thanks to these cells, uh? jellyfish can catch hmm. food like plankton, small fish, and shrimp, uh? and they can defend themselves when in danger too. Uh? Oh. <laughs> the special thing is, when the tentacle touches its skin, even if it's already cut off, the stinging cells can still release venom. That's why, when stung by a jellyfish, never squatch or rub the sting, because it will trigger more stinging cells to fire. Not all jellyfish are dangerous. Some only cuts my itching. The few species are very poisonous, like the box jellyfish, also called the sea wasp. Its venom can even affect the heart and the nervous system. What happens if I touch it by mistake? Get out of the water immediately. Do not squatch or rub the sting. Tell an adult or a lifeguard. Mommy! Oh. Rinse with sea water, not fresh water. Because fresh water can make the venom spread faster. If oh. you have vinegar, mm. you can pour it on. Because vinegar can block the jellyfish venom. Go to the medical station for safe mm. care. <laughs> I got it! Let's not touch jellyfish, guys. They can sting us. Wow! It has such a weird long nose. Oh. That's not just a nose, it's a trunk. <laughs> Want to learn more about it? Let knowledge click. Ooh, wow. 
An elephant's ah. trunk is like a long nose slash hand that helps it live more easily. Instead of bones, it's packed with thousands of muscles and tendons, making it super strong and very flexible. With its trunk, an elephant can drink water, smell, and even give itself a bath. A long trunk also helps it reach food up high or down low easily. Comparing to humans, an elephant's trunk is like an arm, a vacuum cleaner, and a straw all in one. So if it didn't have its trunk, that would be really bad, right? With such a big body, life would be super tricky for an elephant without that long trunk. It would struggle to compete for food with other animals and have a hard time finding enough to eat. Wow! Turns out an elephant's trunk has so many uses! Mm. Now I've got a question for you. Can you guess how many kilos an adult elephant's trunk can lift? Uh oh. I guess 50 kilos! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> uh. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Depending on its size, oh. an adult elephant's trunk can lift anywhere from 200 to 400 kilos. Wow. <laughs> oh. Oh. This tree looks like a mouth, <laughs> Wufu. <laughs> Huh? <gasps> a monster tree! Ah! Hmm. Oh. It's not a monster. It's a Venus flytrap. But does oh. it bite us? I'll tell you what it is. Let knowledge click. Did you know? Every plant needs food from the ground to grow. <laughs> Just like you need food every day. But this Venice flytrap lives in swampy places where the soy has almost no food. So it came up with a super smart idea. It catches bugs like flies, ants, and mosquitoes to eat. <laughs> Instead of just growing leaves and flowers, hmm. it has traps that look like mouths. Inside the plant's mouth, there are tiny little hairs. When a fly or an ant touches them for a few seconds, huh? the plant knows, aha, that's real food. Right away, the trap snaps shut super fast. <laughs> The bird gets stuck inside, and the plant releases special digestive juices. After a few days, it soaks up all the nutrients and gently opens again, ready for its next meal. Ah! It might look scary, but the oh. Venus flytrap only eats tiny bugs, not people. Besides the Venus flytrap, did you know there are around 700 kinds of carnivorous oh. plants in the world? Take this picture, plant, for example. It gives up a sweet smell to lure insects, <laughs> then ah. snaps its lid shut. Wow. And this is the sundew plant. Its leaves are super sticky. When a bug touches them, they curl up right away. Bladder word. This plant has tiny bubbles called bladders. When a little bug swims by, the bubble sucks it in and the plant eats it. Wow! That's it for today. Join <laughs> Wufu as he continues exploring the amazing world in the next episodes. <laughs> Discover everything around us on Wolfu Explore Channel.